Just under 25 hours to go if state lawmakers want to pass an on-time state budget. They stayed late tonight at the state capitol to work toward that goal. Ethics reform and teacher evaluations are in the budget. The DREAM Act and a minimum wage hike are out. The budget has been a work in progress all night. It's like one large stromboli with a lot of different ingredients. And now it's been thinned right out. Well, the Assembly and Senate just wrapped up for the night a short time ago on that Stromboli. Tonight, both houses approved revenue bills and included in those bills something that is not sitting well with many lawmakers and good government groups. It's a tax break for people buying yachts. Buy a boat that costs more than 230k, no sales tax. Tori Wells is live at the Capitol for us tonight. Tori, I watched this being hotly debated on the Senate floor tonight. And you could hear the debate in the hallways as well. The Senate Majority Leader says this exemption will create jobs, good paying jobs. But one lawmaker told me this is nonsense. The State Assembly and Senate taking up the revenue part of the budget tonight, the part that determines how much the state brings in. Inside that bill, a tax credit for people buying a yacht that costs more than $230,000. The people that can afford a $50 million or $100 million yacht can certainly afford to pay the taxes on that yacht. Senate Majority Leader Dean Skello says that's not what this is about. He says this tax exemption is about strengthening the boat industry in New York. It creates jobs. It makes New York State competitive, and that would afford jobs for people to work above the minimum wage. We felt that that's important, especially with the state that we have, with all our natural resources, uh, that people be able to uh, create jobs here in New York State. That's nonsense, quite frankly. It is not at all going to do anything to benefit this economy. What would benefit this economy is cutting taxes on my middle class families. Assembly member Steve McLaughlin and Senator Liz Kruger told me they will vote no on this revenue bill because of measures like this. Our debt is skyrocketing in the state because we keep spending more but also giving away the store in a number of different specialty tax exemptions. What message does this send taxpayers? Well, it sends a message that crony capitalism is alive and well. And we asked the governor's office about this exemption. It had no comment. This was not in the governor's original budget. Now, also in those revenue bills that were just passed, a tax break for people buying small private planes. We're live in the Capitol. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.